starting strong. Um, you guys seen uh, seen one or two of them walk in here, but um, this is the V1 here, and it's um, again based on this airbag, and, and this is probably something a lot of you have seen before. Um, engineered for basketball for the first time uh, for the LeBron 7. It's been used in a few things since then, but LeBron loves this bag. And what it does is uh, it really protects him. It protects his foot everywhere. So everywhere he lands, there's air. And uh, that really protects his joints and his, and his knees and his back over time, over the course of a long season. So we really wanted to bring that back in um, with the V1. Um, oh, actually, pass that. Oh, pass that around. Sorry. <laughs> Not this year. This guy. Um, but you can feel the luxury when you hold that shoe in your hand. I mean, even from the mind of a boy, you want to sway the shoe. He wanted to start black uh, as opposed to where he normally start with a white and black shoe. Um, and then you can see the technical elements, the support layered in, just where you need it, but uh, around this notion, the shoe is built around this notion of crafting a dress shoe for, for the on or for being on court, excuse me. Um, but a dress shoe augmented with Max Air and Skim Wire and Seamless Booty and all these beautiful things that Nike can do and Nike only can do, that in the end becomes uh, what for LeBron was a, was a really great, great product. And you can see the weight here, 16.9, you know, it's fully equipped, so we got some ounces on the shoe, you know, I'm okay with that because um, it's not always about being the lightest shoe ever. Sometimes it's about um, just providing the benefit you need, and LeBron's a big guy. So what we always say about LeBron is that you got to protect him from himself um, because he's just so fast, and he's so strong, um, that the forces that he exerts on the shoe aren't what, um, you know, the normal, normal athlete would, would exert. So V1, we, we got that going through Christmas Day. Now, you know, you got to match up. Christmas Day, Kobe Bryant, the Mamba, and uh, again, how do we bring it? It's a nationally televised game, you know, everybody's sitting at home, sleepy, a bunch of guests, you know, but they know the game's coming on, so boom, LeBron shows up, red uniforms, red, totally different transform shoot. That transformation is now starting to take place, we're picking up speed, so you can see we dropped the leather from the upper and became a completely... Uh, fly wire and mesh upper, removing layers, kind of adding breathability, um, and dropping some weight. So a little bit over an ounce, an ounce out of the shoe at this point. Again, to provide a little bit of that pep in the step, just a, you know, a little less energy LeBron has to expend um, as he's beating the hell out of Kobe that day. <laughs> and the Lakers. Um, okay, so that's B2 time, right? And now, that's, gonna, that's something that LeBron will wear through. He wore through All-Star through the rest of the season, but now it's time for that playoff push. And like I mentioned before, it's all about the playoffs. That's all any of these guys care about. Um, that's all the public cares about, fans. So now we've got to kind of start fresh. And all, although all these shoes were designed at the same time, um, kind of with the same end in mind, the PS is really the culmination of the design exercise. It's kind of where we started and built back um, to, to the V1. Um, so we completely re-engineered it. Like we weren't happy with where um, these set as far. We didn't think we could stay where we were and make the, uh, the playoff shoe that we wanted to make for LeBron. So we totally re-engineered the thing. Um, and that's bottom to top, or in this case, top to bottom. So um, first, first off, Hyperfuse, right? Um, no, Randy, I was looking for it. Oh, I, that's right. that's right. I had a sample, <laughs> which was really cool. And I, I, I think I'll, it's I'll probably talking about yeah, just, If you find anything in that bag, it's okay. unsavory. Don't know. Um, <laughs> but and, and I'm not sure how familiar everybody is with Hyperfuse, but Hyperfuse is a is a process, uh, a method of making that Nike has developed, created um, that allows you to build a composite upper. Uh, and composite upper, basically. What that means is it allows for zonal performance features. So in one sheet of material, as opposed to something like leather that's going to have some kind of defects in it and natural irregularities, what we can do here is engineer this precisely to the millimeter um, to, to provide zonal support where we need it, to provide breathing, uh, breathability where we need it, to provide fit, padding, all those things can be engineered and dialed into the upper of the shoe anywhere, at any time. Um, no stitching. So you start to remove layers, you start to remove glue, you start to remove backing. Um, all these things that add up to the weight of the shoe. So when you start doing something like replacing leather, backers, glues, and lining with mesh, that, you know, obviously there's going to be some weight savings there. The shoe's actually going to fit a little closer to the foot too, so you're getting a little truer fit and you're losing weight in a super strong, super engineered material. We're really excited about this Nike. There's going to be a whole, you know, fuse is, is, is something that, that we're going to take 
to the next level. So we're just starting to see the beginnings of it. But it's a pretty amazing, pretty amazing process. So when you take that, that fused notion and engineer it for LeBron, it starts to look like this. I mean, you start to bring in these key, and if you look at the 8v1 and v2, you see these lockdown zones in the, in the heel and the forefoot that are crucial for locking LeBron's foot into the shoe. So we didn't want to give that up. Um, so we reinforce those in here, and everywhere in between that, the straight breathability. You start that red there, you start to see through to the guts of the shoe. That's just the inner booty, the sleeve right up against the foot. And you can actually feel the air kind of moving through the shoe as, as you run. Um, and we wanted LeBron to feel that same experience too. So that's the upper. So when we get through the upper and we start, you know, obviously we move down to the tooling. The tooling is the foundation of the shoe and also where a lot of the weight is held. So now, um, no, no. Uh, so where we started in V1, full length airbag, full length protection. Now, for the first time, we're coming with 180. Uh, max. And obviously you can see the difference in the size of these bags. So there's, that's a lot of material um, already that's going to be removed and, and, and weight and bulk and everything else. But the key factor is that we're not sacrificing anything. What we're doing is providing a different solution that's more suited to a shorter season. Uh, this full length bag is great for the pounding um, that, that LeBron will take over the course of the season. 82 games and all, all that that entails. Now, we're in that sprint, right? So the sprint shoe is, is, is kind of completely differently engineered. Um, so I'll pass those around. And then, so we didn't forget about the four foot. We didn't just leave it alone. What we did is, is tied it to a, a four foot zoom unit. This is something tried and true that we've used in, in, in shoes uh, for a little while now. It's a little lower to the ground. It's super responsive. Um, and when you combine it with 180 max in the heel, now you've got this brand new kind of hybrid experience that's, that's kind of different. It's something that we've never done before in run before. This bag actually reaches pretty far to the midfoot, so you've kind of got this air bridge on one side. Um, but it allows for ultimate impact uh, protection in the heel, right? You're fully covered uh, for that impact. But then in the forefoot, you've got this springy, responsive zoom air um, for that added zip, just a little bit more bounce as you kind of, uh, as you kind of take off. And then, so that's part of the tooling. Okay, we've got a new cushioning sol solution. We're gonna shave a little weight. We're gonna get a little lower to the ground and, uh, and actually provide this kind of dynamic new ride. But then, um, you gotta put it into the rest of the system. It's not just airbags, right? Airbags have to be contained with foam. You gotta put rubber, obviously, uh, down for traction. Um, but what it enables us to do, uh, some of the weight savings that, that, that we're doing in the shoe is carbon fiber. So with something like carbon fiber, obviously it's super strong, super light, can be totally engineered, and you can replace a lot of conventional materials with <coughs> like this, very much the same way we did the upper. Uh, taking something like this, you can already see how thin it is. This allows us to take away a ton of rubber, foam, glue, um, all those things that again are, are weighing down the shoe and really getting between you and the court. Um, so you pop this in the middle and it becomes a bridge between these two bags. So you land for impact protection. Um, the uh, 3D carbon shank kind of straightens you out and gets, you, gets your foot positioned in the right way to hit that zoom bag for the toe off um, and you're headed down the court, hopefully with the, with the dunk waiting at the end. <laughs> um, so all those things being said and kind, of, and kind of thrown in, now we're at the point where we, we feel like the transformation is, is complete. And in the end, we end up taking almost two and a half ounces out of the shoe which is a pretty big deal, uh, and here's why. Because of every ounce um, in a shoe or in, in, in a uniform or anything else, that's extra weight, obviously, that a player has to carry around. For somebody like LeBron, an ounce in a shoe is about 55, 60 pounds over the course of a mile. And he runs about three miles in an average game, you know, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Uh, when you start talking about two and a half ounces times 55, um, times three miles, you're starting to talk about a lot of weight that he now doesn't have to carry around. And it sounds a little weird, but really when you think about it, at the end of a game, 44 minutes, 48 minutes, you're in overtime, all of a sudden you've got a little bit of extra energy because you haven't been carrying around this extra 300 pounds. Your body's going to be a little bit fresher than it might have been with something uh, a little heavy or a little heavier. And again, 14.5, we probably could have gotten lighter, but LeBron kind of stopped us. Like, hey, this feels great. I don't want... Um, Something that's going to, you know, that feels like a, a, a slipper on there as far as weight goes. You know, I need something that I feel supported and I feel comfortable in. Uh, so what we try to do is get as light as we can while providing uh, for those needs for LeBron. So with that, we 
got the APS 